Back to cricket now, and while Black Caps coach John Wright goes back to the drawing board, there are two cricketers in New Zealand who have been showing form with genetics on side. Siblings Pete and Sarah McGlashan grew up playing backyard cricket in Napier and are now both playing for their country. Rachel Tiffin has more. Backyard styles. Chucking a ball. Throw it, man. You're lucky I don't throw like a girl. With her closest rival. Since childhood days of throwdowns with a tennis ball and an upturned trampoline at slips, Sarah McGlashan has been spurred on by older brother Pete. Yeah, I think anything we did, um, I always wanted to win. Uh, there's three years between us, so close enough for me always wanting to push him, I guess. I remember um, pretty vividly getting told at an early age by one of her uh, soccer coaches that she was going to play for a country before me. And she did, selected for the White Ferns in 2002. Not that Pete lets it go to her head. They've made a few finals, they're yet to win one, so... <laughs> I won't be <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> he was recalled to the Black Caps 2020 team for the series against Pakistan and in the first match on Boxing Day stamped his presence with four catches and that trademark reverse sweep to win it. A shot that must be in the blood. Oh, <laughs> and since Sarah's been to two World Cups, Pete reckons it's his turn. There's a World Cup just around the corner so um. If I can put in some good, good performances in the next month, then hopefully get a ticket to India. The McGlashans started out in football, Sarah taking it through to the New Zealand under-19s. But their grandfather, who kept for central districts in the 60s, planted the cricket seed. And it grew from there, with heaps of laughs along the way, mainly at each other. Hopefully I don't hit the camera. Oh, Jesus! Hit that foot and smack me in the knee. You see a feeling for a reason. But the McGlashans will be all business when they don the silver fern this year. Now you've got gloves on because you can't catch. <laughs> Rachel Tiffin, 3 News.